False teachers operate the same way. They all do. They come out of nowhere. They start saying all the right stuff, and everybody gets real excited about them. And then after a while, they keep talking, and then all these red flags stop popping up, and you're thinking, this that doesn't sound right. That doesn't add up. And, uh, you know, after a while, they just start saying all these crazy things, and you're thinking, now, wait a minute. I'm going to make a call here. Am I going to just let this go, or am I going to kind of blow the whistle on this person and say, no, that's, that's, that's erroneous, doctor. That's heresy, what you're saying. And at some point, you have to make that call. And that's when everybody gets their feelings hurt and everybody gets all like, you know, sad and then there's and everybody parts ways and whatever. But that's a necessary thing to do if you're going to keep the doctrine of the church pure. I believe doctrine matters. It does. And the one we're going to talk about today is Jackie Hill Perry. I think she's a false teacher. I think she always has been. And we're going to talk about her for a few minutes. Hey guys, your friend Spencer here. The Bible says in the book of Jude that we are to earnestly contend for the faith that was once delivered to the saints, meaning we were supposed to keep it keep it going, keep propagate the gospel, keep the gospel pure, and uh, try to preach the gospel. That's what we're supposed to do. And the reason we're supposed to do that, of course, is just to be obedient to the Lord. But one of the reasons is we're supposed to keep the gospel pure is because certain men creep in unawares, and what they do is they... Uh, they sneak in and they just kind of go after and try to just kind of adjust the knobs a little bit on doctrine. And after a while, if you if you let that go long enough, then you actually can destroy your whole church and ministry. Now, one of the documentaries that I saw, I think it was in 2020, I, I watched it, and I was so impressed with it, I really enjoyed it, was the American Gospel. Now, the American Gospel was, was you have to understand who these people are that are making this documentary. Uh, you have to understand these are like right-wing evangelical guys who are, I, I, I would say probably all of them are Reformed, uh, probably with the exception of Ray Comfort, are all Reformed guys. And uh, they are attacking the modernist, the prosperity gospel, the Kenneth Copelands, the Todd Whites, and the Joel Osteens. That's who they're attacking. And I watched I mean, for me, it was kind of just, you know, Ray Comfort's in there, and then you had Justin Peters in there, and then you had uh, Steve Lawson. I think Paul Washer was in there, too. Yeah. So you had you had all these guys in there, and that, that didn't surprise me. I mean, you know, these guys are, uh, you know, they're Reformed guys, and they're kind of the who's who of the, the Reformed crowd. But one of the things that puzzled me I, as I was watching, I'm sitting there thinking, what in the world's that woman doing here? She's a modernist. The Jackie Hill Perry is not what you guys think she is. This woman's bad news. What is she doing in there? And then as I went on, I thought, what in the world? Why is J.D. Greer in the American gospel? J.D. Greer is the American gospel. J.D. Greer is, is I mean, this guy's a theological liberal. What, what in the world? And then you got Matt Chandler in there, too. And I'm thinking, what? well, how did these guys, how did y'all miss this? But uh, largely, I think the documentary is still good, and I still recommend it to people. Uh, but Jackie Hill Perry recently spoke out against the American Gospel documentary, and uh, she made a statement to me that I thought was, you know, really telling. I mean, guys, you have to understand that these these modernists, they love to creep in, and they love to talk about all the right things. And then in time, people start to catch on, no, you're not, you're not doctorally sound like we, we thought you were. Well, here's what was posted in a story on Instagram from Jackie Hill Perry the other day, and I'll make this available to you guys. Someone said, will you do another American gospel type of documentary? By the way, this is my favorite thing to do in the, in the Instagram stories. If you haven't followed us on Instagram, uh, go ahead and hit, follow us, Spencer Smith 312 uh, You can see in the top left corner of the screen up here that uh, that is where we are. Go follow us there, and we love to interact with our crowd and audience there as much as we can. Uh, but she posted, you know, asked me a question. And the question was, will you do another American gospel type of documentary? Now, here's what she said. She said, probably not. I deeply dislike the tribalism and theological superiority those type of films encourage. I did it then. Won't ever do it again. So she's saying, you know, I will, I will never do another American gospel type documentary. And uh, really, okay, let's, let's examine that. What was the American gospel attacking? The American gospel was attacking people that she now runs with, okay? <laughs> like they were they were attacking Bill Johnson of Bethel Church. Jackie Hill Perry is good friends with Jen Johnson, the daughter of Bill Johnson at Bethel Church. She even endorsed and said that these people have the real Holy Ghost. She posted that in an Instagram story years ago. And I thought, you know, that's that's a big deal. And she got so liberal that even Ken Ham up there at, uh, at the Ark in Kentucky, they wouldn't even have her anymore. And so this woman is a modernist. And so really when I... 
when I spoke about the American gospel, I, I liked it. I enjoyed it. I mean, everything these guys said, it, it was good. Uh, but my big question was, what in the world is this woman doing here? And now my big question is, what in the world is that guy doing here? These, these, people, these people don't belong. The, the evangelicals have a really hard time detecting these modernists, but us fundamentalists, we get them pegged pretty quick. And uh, one of them I got pegged was Jackie Hill Perry. So here's the deal. Uh, what, what she said here was problematic in, in several ways. <clears throat> the, the tribalism and theological superiority these type of films encourage, what she's saying is that doctrine does not matter. I mean, theological superiority. Okay, let's ask the question, are there bad theologies out there? The answer is yes. Are there good theologies out there? The answer is yes. Um, well, is good theology superior to bad theology? Yes. And if you don't think so, what's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? But what, what she's saying is theological superiority is encouraged in the American God. That was the point. That was the whole point of the documentary is that Joel Osteen, Kenneth Copeland, and Todd White are bad people and they're a con artist. That was the point of the whole thing. And now she's saying, I don't want to encourage this type of theological superiority attacking Joel Osteen, Kenneth Copeland, and Todd White. I don't want to do that anymore. Are you crazy? That, that's what's wrong with people today. Jackie Hill Perry is saying that doctrine does not matter. This is a completely atrocious statement. Jackie Hill Perry needs to be marked and avoided. She is a heretic. She, she wants all this kumbaya, everybody get along. And guys, when I attack things like the Passion Conference, and when I say these things are dreadfully dangerous for your spirituality, and, and I get a flood of comments saying, how dare you say that? And it's always some 19-year-old saying, how dare you say that? I went there and it was a great experience. Well, yeah, of course, it was a great experience. But they're, they're giving you an experience that does not base itself off of doctrine. Guys, I'm telling you, these modernists are not what you think they are. These modernists are snakes. They are wolves in sheep's clothing. These people are dangerous for you, and you need to get away from them. And guys, we've been telling you the truth the whole time. Stay away from these modernists. And guys, I don't know. I mean, if, if I had a documentary and somebody was in there and it was uh, they went that south, I think I would at least edit it out. I think I would. And I, I, I would like to encourage our, our brothers, and I, I think the people who made this are nice guys, and, and I, I would encourage our brother who made this documentary to cut her out of this. Especially guys like J.D. Greer. Now, I'm, I'm an editor, and I know what kind of headache that is. But, guys, look, I'm, I'm, for, I'm for the American gospel. I, I thought it was a great documentary. I thought the graphics in it were fantastic. Me and my daughter actually watched it, and she sat there and just said, Daddy, this is so good. And I said, yeah, it is good. It's a really good documentary. But we cannot, we cannot give the impression, as, as Christian leaders, we cannot give the impression these people are okay. We have to be very careful about that kind of stuff, and I, I strive to be very careful about that. Um, you know, I, I, you know, I even, I, mean, I really work hard to try to watch all that because it's a big deal. You, you, you can lead people the wrong way by saying this guy's okay. That, that was the problem with the Billy Graham crusade. He brought Johnny Cash up there. Johnny Cash wasn't even saved. It made everybody think this guy's all right, and he's not all right. So, Jackie Hill Perry basically distanced herself from the American gospel. She's a dangerous modernist. I don't think she I don't I don't think she belonged in that film to begin with. She she just didn't even like she wasn't even on the same page with anybody in there. Um and that's what they do. They creep in unawares and they infiltrate and they subvert the young people away, especially. I'm burdened for this next generation, man. You guys are fighting apostasy like crazy. You guys need to get in a good Bible-believing church. You need to realize that doctrine matters, and you need to start uh, getting your mind got plugged into the Word of God. Study to show yourself approved unto God. A workman needeth not be ashamed. Rightly dividing the Word of truth. You need to do that. Watch out for these dangerous people. Hey, guys, I, wanted to, I want you to do this. Take a look at the button below if there's a red button below this video that says subscribe on it that means you're not subscribed to this channel so please go ahead and take the time to do that and that'll be good go ahead and like this video if you will and pray about joining the channel as a member and that'll be wonderful we love you all we'll talk to you very soon have a good day